seeking out its alley. Goes in. Red lights are on. And he hits the button and they're away and racing now. And the first to jump away is Cool Serenity. Ridden with great gusto coming out of the machine for Mr. Undercover Pro Zone. They're going to head off Sayeta. Saxy Philly driving forward but quite wide going up onto the first corner. Clever Dick back midfield. Then Dem Times, Glen Alban. Lucky Linda Lulu settled well back in the field and dropping out last from its wide gate, Bloomy Sun. Under the 800 they go into the side. Cool Serenity now starts to steady them down. They've gone out hard the first four 500 metres from Pro Zone. Around them, Saxy Philly with her ears ridden off the little grey. Over on the inside, Mr. Undercover. Then came Clever Dick, who's poked up there near the middle. On his outside is Glen Alban. Say it the Philly coming away from the heels of Mr. Undercover when they approach the corner. And back behind those, swinging for home, Dem Times, Bloomy Sun, Lucky Linda Lulu. Into the straight and Cool Serenity kick two in front of Pro Zone. Mr. Undercover sticks on his Glen Alban winding up around its heels. Say coming to the top. 200 cool serenity though with a big lead from Glen Alban. Here comes the three-year-old Sayeta. She's running on strongly. Cool serenity in front. Mr. Undercover picking it up though in the shadows. He drives up, grabs the lead, gets the money. Mr. Undercover from Cool Serenity. Spearing through late. Lucky Linda Lulu snatching third just in front of Sayeta. Then Bloomy's son who'd ran on well looking for a bit further. Right behind them then came Glen Alban from Clever Dick. Dem Times. Well back in the field is Pro Zone and Saxy Philly after a nightmare trip has cut up to finish last of all. Mr. Undercover, William Pike with a treble after four. First up for Glenn McTaggart. Number four, Mr. Undercover. Presented terrific in the yard and has run accordingly from Cool Serenity, who went out the first 400 there at a cracking pace. Lucky Linda Lulu grabbing third. She was back there and uh, chancing a hand for runs near the fence, getting through late and uh, cutting Sayeta out of the skinny end of the money. Number four, Mr. Undercover, though, salutes the star witness gelding from the Bletchley Park Mare Tarp. Race by Glenn McTaggart, trained by Glenn McTaggart, part owned with KJ Manuel, D. Sedgwick, S. Strawbridge, N and D. Caparasso, M. Appleby, Chris Chalwell, B. Yemen, B. Smith, S. Quirk, D. Mrs. C. Kemp, J. Godomsky, S. Kelly, J. Krill and J. Muller. And W. Pike with the third leg of a treble today in 111.72. Half a length, a long neck were margins there for second and third. A half a long neck, 111.72 placings after the fourth event of the day. Good win here, first up by Mr. Undercover since its last appearance back there at the end of May and uh, came off a pretty reasonable trial lately. It's got home in 34.49. And uh, I thought the run of Bloomy Sun looking for much, much further there than the 1,200 metres at this stage on that pedigree at least. Might be one to keep following too in the very near future. But too good for them here. And so was W Pike once again with uh, a domination in the first half of the day. Three out of the first four races. The Lavazza Handicap Race 5 next at a minute before 3. It's over 1,000 metres. There are no changes there to the fifth event of the day. Now let's go down to the mounting enclosure, catching up with Gareth Hall after the victory. No stopping the Wizard with his uh, third win coming up very early on in the program. Yes, that indeed, Macca. Glenn McTaggart's about to join us. I think he's uh, going out to see the horse, Mr Undercover, after that performance. And Glenn... Tell us a little bit about the story about this horse was with Lindsay Smith. I think you've always owned this galloper now back in your care and um, he does the job first up. Yeah, I, originally um, Graham Dawes had a half share in him. Lindsay always was pestering me to train him and he had a little knee up. So I said, the only way you can get him, Lindsay, you'll have to get some of your owners to buy the other half out, which we did. And I thought that he'd be a lot better down there in the soft sand after having the knee up. But I think just the heavy going down there doesn't suit him. I think he's a horse that's better on top of the ground and today sort of proved that. But uh, you know, no disrespect to Lindsay, he'd done a great job with the horse. I've only topped him off, really. And he's had some good form lines behind horses like Variation, etc. So if he turned up today, he would have been pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I, I was sort of, wasn't 100% confident because I didn't know where he was at, but I thought he would go OK. I was hoping for a first four finish and we got that. And plenty improvement left in him then? Oh, I think so, yeah. I think he's got a bit more upside now that we've got him in the right track. Always good to show Lindsay up. He, he trained enough winners on Saturday. Well done, Glenn. Yeah, I hope he can get one another one for us. See you. <laughs> there we go. That's a good performance by Mr. Undercover, Glenn McTaggart. And I tell you what, the Pike domination once again here. I think 
He had a big week last week and this promises to be another big week. It certainly does. Brought up a treble already out of only four races. Firstly, congratulations. This horse just able to utilise that good, good gait? Yeah, that's pretty much right. Uh, we jumped well, had a good barrier. Uh, got on the right horse's back again. I think that's pretty key today on this track to be able to get in the right spot on straightening. Uh, for a moment there, I didn't think he was going to dig deep enough to get the job done, but uh, he, towards the end, he was convincing enough. The way he ran through the line, was it convincing enough to suggest that he'll get over further? Yeah, if he settles, he was quite strong going around to the barriers and a couple of runs under his belt, I'm sure he'll come to hand and then I'll leave it up to the trainer from there. Hopefully with that freshness off the side, off his side, we do see that. How many more winners in store today? Well, hopefully a lot more, but uh, look, I'll, I'll take each race as it comes. Everyone's a bonus. You've set that benchmark at five. Five would be good today. Yeah, well, I've got to try and get to seven one day, but uh, I've, look, I'm happy with anything I can get. And these days when they roll off so far as they have, um, you know, you've always got to finish strong, though. All right, hopefully we're seeing plenty more of you today. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, five is not so, Popey. Five's not good enough, Pike. We need at least seven. That wraps up race number four. We'll be back before race number five. And that race is over the thousand. Good race coming.